Hello everyone, Martin here, back with another Legacy video. Back playing Doomsday. Um, and before I say anything else, I want to wish everyone a happy holidays. Uh, this video should be coming out um, on the weekend of Christmas. So I hope everyone is, is having uh, a good time with their uh, families and friends and all that good stuff. So thanks for tuning in. I'm back playing Doomsday, and I'm back playing the four color, the one ring a doomsday list made a couple of tweaks to the sideboard i added two copies of dismember in in place of the two um the two uh, prismatic ending i was i was playing um this is to shore up the or improve um the boros initiative and i guess other mags of the moon um uh, leaning decks in the in the format i think uh this member is a really, really good answer. It uh, it, it it answers a Magus through both the Chalice on one and after the Magus has resolved. So that's that's really nice. You don't mind taking the the damage because I mean you'll be taking the damage from the Magus anyways in two combat steps. And this also handily I think answers pretty much every creature in that deck. Um. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to bring in versus Delver. Obviously, taking four damage is, is a lot. You can maybe pay two mana for it at some point and only pay two life. But I mean, what whatever creature you're killing wouldn't have needed very many combat steps to to sort of deal you that damage anyway. So I think maybe. And speaking of Delver, I think my plan versus Delver is to uh, bring in the Bowmasters, the Shouldrets, the Plows, actually pretty much everything in this sideboard except for the Force of Negations. And then, <clears throat> and then shave on Doomsday. Not not completely cut it, but shave on it. Shave on all the the uh, petal mana, the LED, the consider. Um, and then play this sort of Esper Splash Green um, pseudo control deck with some with a lot of bombs with Shouldred and stuff. Um, I haven't really ironed it out completely, but um, but but that's sort of the plan. Um, yeah. I think with that said, let's uh, let's jump into a league. On the play for round number one, and yeah, this is a this is a nice nice enough hand. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna lead on Tropical Island because if I need to veil, I don't want to be fetching my second Tropical here. It's a little bit unfortunate because it sort of signposts what we're doing. But um, but yeah. Oh, wasteland. Okay. Sure. In wasteland, I could have like cycled Lorien there, but I think it's okay. I have lands. I might need Lorien for like pitch the force of will or something. Basic island and a wasteland. This could be like Delver with like just having drawn their one wasteland. Okay, I'm gonna gonna fetch underground sea here. All these Lorien reveals. I'm not gonna be playing uh, with fear in my heart for wasteland, so. Plus, we need the colors here. Okay, let's, um, hmm. So we have two bombs here, which may be one too many. No, I think actually I like both of them. Let's put back the Cycler and one of the Lorne Reveals. And we'll just pass and keep open Veil here, and we'll cycle Lorne Revealed at the end of turn if nothing happens. I'm sorry, by the way, if um, you can hear that I, I have a little bit of a head cold. I've got, some, you know, some sniffles going on. I hope it's not too terrible. Okay, so this is this probably means it's Scam? I don't know, like, Scam not casting any sort of discard on early turns here is... Well, I suppose they're probably sitting on Bowmasters. That would kind of make sense. Okay. So let's get Trop, and let's cycle... I'll get uh, another Underground Sea here. If we do draw one of our three white cards, we still have the, the Polluted Delta in hand to fetch Tundra. Um, so... So they're probably sitting on Bowmasters, right? So the question is, do I ponder here and give them... Do I ponder, first of all? If I ponder, and they have Bowmasters, do I use my Veil? I don't think I do. That would sort of save me... Uh, effectively, it would save me a couple of damage points because 
you veil once they're once they have targeted you with their ETB trigger on the bowmasters, and then the ETB trigger uh, fizzles, and they don't get uh, they don't get the one one. But then you draw off a of veil, and then they just target themselves, so they still get the one one. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm okay taking a little bit of damage here to their bowmasters. No way, they had the bowmasters. Oh my god. Set every legacy content creator when this happens. I know that joke is kind of getting old. Okay. Um, hmm. I think I'm okay drawing the force. Um, I'm a little bit worried about playing the one ring into days here. We could play Doomsday into days. We'll see. Maybe if that's the case, I should draw the the, car, uh, the Cavern of Souls, which I now don't remember if I put on top. I I would love a Dark Ritual, truth be told. I think I'm going to fetch here. Edge of Autumn, that's not bad. But let's see here. Um, so if I Doomsday now and it just resolves, for instance, let's say that. Um, then I'm at 6, I untap, I take 3. From the Bowmaster and the Orc, I'm at 3. They could also like flash in another Bowmaster, that would probably kill me. I would go to 5, and then they would have 5 power, so yeah, I would have to fight over that. I could also try the One Ring. And like... That just, it sucks so really hard if they have days, but if they have days and we need to veil and stuff, it's the, sort of the same. So I Doomsday, and it doesn't resolve. How much trouble am I? Probably, like, a lot. I'm going to try the One Ring. If they have days, they have days, but if they have Force, then that's a Force they don't have for the Doomsday turn, and who knows, maybe I'll even, like, fight over it. Well, they're paying costs here. Another Bowmasters, so they did have that. Okay. Sure. Bowmasters is in. Kind of stoked if this means this ring resolves. Days. Okay, I'll force. Okay. Ring is in. Right on. Okay. I mean, I'm going to draw now. Anyway, I have protection, so they'll get to grow the, uh, the token real big. Okay, so... We need to not get wastelanded here, first of all. That's sort of what needs to happen. And then we need them to not have, like, uh, like meaningful interaction. Okay, so that's... Uh, they obviously didn't have another force or days before, but now they get to ponder. And they choose not to shuffle. Okay. Okay, brainstorm. Right on. Seeing a lot of cards. I think my best draw right now is a land, or a dark ritual, or a petal. So, quite a few draws that could be good here. Um, dark ritual, yes, that's very good. Okay. Um, question is if I should veil before or after. Okay, so they drew, they found their interaction, they're pausing. Um... I think I have to Doomsday now, because if they if they force of will my Veil, then I just lose, I think. That resolved. <laughs> um, well. Alright, so let's see here. I, I'm at four, so like if I activate Ring and draw twice, I just die. Um, at best, I could, act, I could cycle Edge of Autumn, draw once, take two damage, and then, um, then what? Then I still die. Because there's not, like, one card isn't going to do it. Yeah, I need them, I basically need them to to not fuck with this Veil of Summer. That is the only, the only answer. And then, like, emptying the deck would be kind of nice. Uh, but ultimately not. Yeah, I think it, I do need to empty the deck because of... Like, or I just lose to a removal spell. Uh, la, la, la. How does that work? So we 
let's say we edge we edge of autumn that draws one the the one ring draw, draws twice my edge of autumn that I then draw can draw the fourth card and then Vale is either gonna like no Vale is not gonna draw a card here unless they I don't know brainstorm in response or days um so I think. Okay, so let's see here. If I if I Veil of Summer, nothing happens. Then I draw, consider, and uh, and pedal, and then I consider binning the pedal. Uh, sorry, I need to start this over. Um, I draw twice. I draw consider and pedal. I draw with the one ring, I mean. Then I still have, that way I still have the edge of autumn in my hand. I have two mana on tap because I have veiled. So I play the pedal, I consider off of whatever, and I've been, I've been what? I've been LED, I guess, then. And then I draw edge of autumn, and then Thassa is my last card. I just don't want to get to an, in, into a spot where I am having to not like to uh, to put the LED away and then somehow not having enough mana. Because like casting Vel Summer plus Consider is two mana. I currently have three, so I would need the pedal then. Um, I suppose. So why even then put LED in here? Is like a pedal, second pedal, just better? Okay, so let's just make sure here. Edge of Autumn draws one. Ring draws two. Um, edge draws three. Consider draws... No, Edge draws the fourth. Consider draws the fifth. Yeah. Uh, well, that should be fine. So what am I binning with... Uh, I'm binning one of the petals with the, with the Consider. Okay, let's try this. Okay, so I guess Thassa on the bottom with uh, edge no with uh, I guess that doesn't matter with the pedal on top and then like pedal consider edge okay alright do you have the force of will rendering the past minute or so mute, moot Okay, so did I just play into a daze killing me here? Okay, no, never mind. I think I did, though. That was kind of bad. I think that's why I needed the LED. Ugh. Sloppy plays. Okay, so now the pile is Pedal Pedal uh, Thassa, so I'm just gonna... Just play this, bin a pedal. Or I suppose I could I could have drawn a pedal. We have the two cyclers here. Yeah, I don't think this pile. <coughs> I was really, uh, really thought thought it through. We could have optimized, and as you see, I would have lost two a days on the Vale of Summer. That's a mighty big thirteen thirteen orc army. Is this where they show me they they're like bug dick that's playing uh, main deck endurance? Okay, so we right off the bat we get to try. I'm, I'm probably gonna sideboard the same versus this type of deck as versus uh, regular sort of rug delver or Grixis delver. The only thing to consider is the Shouldreds, I think. Like Shouldred, um, like if they grief us and then take a Shouldred and and reanimate it, that's basically game. I or you know, at least we we'll. That's very very detrimental to what we're trying to do. I think I want these 12 cards. I don't think I want Deed, even though, like, Deed is great versus uh, Orcs and stuff, Orc Armies and Orcish Bowmasters. I do think, like, them playing threats that are high on CMC, like, the rest of their threat suite are, is likely to be, like, Troll of Casa Doom and Murktide Regent and Grief. And Deed, Deed doesn't line up super well there. And I'm trying the Dismembers here. Let's see if uh, there are 12 cards that I am comfortable boarding out. So I'll cut two Doomsdays, cut all the Cyclers, cut 
all the the artifact mana. Oops, I don't want to cut the one ring. Um, cut the LED. Cut the consider. Then we that's that's pretty decent. I think probably Night's Whisper can go because um, we are sort of taxing our life total quite a bit. And then I don't know, like the last cut. <sighs> Maybe that's a daze on the draw. Yeah. That means we're on 21 blue cards for force. That's okay. And, like, Teferi is maybe questionable in this type of matchup, but if you can stick him on an empty board, and we do play, you know, six removal spells plus the two Bowmasters. Um, so if you can stick Teferi on an empty board, that's just really, really big game in this type of matchup. But that is it is a bit of an ask. But, you know, he pitches the force. All that good stuff. This is almost an amazing hand, but fortunately it is lacking a crucial initial mana source. So I'm going to follow my opponent and mulligan to, to six. Okay. I'm going to keep this and I'm going to bottom the shoulder just in case of what I described before. Um, and we have two other sort of bombs. Uh, Teferi being a bomb is maybe something you you could question here, but... Okay. No turn one discard, so that's nice. And now I am actually going to play with Fear in my heart and fetch a basic island, as we only have one land here. Uh, it's It sucks because we have multiple color requirements here, but I do think I need to... Yeah, this is, this is fine. Uh, I do need to get, like... I need to be able to, to play the game, basically. And drawing the Scrubland plus a, a Plow next turn is pretty pretty cool. Kind of sucks we don't have uh, Green for Veil, vale, but they didn't discard us on turn two. And Shock Horror, they are keep holding up to mana on turn two. I'm just going to pass here. I don't want to get blown out by days. Up the Beanstalk. Oh, it's that Beanstalk deck. Um, Sure... I don't think I want to like be trying to go fishing for a force of will with my brainstorm. Uh yeah. Let's uh let's try this. I don't know if I'm supposed to like fo uh like brainstorm there to try and, and find the th uh damn. Interesting they don't choose to take me off white here. And now we're kind of in trouble because I think I have to brainstorm here right into their Bowmasters. Oh, that just happened. Okay. So let's um let's put away one the one ring and one veil of summer, although I am gonna island cycle for a tropical island here. And I am actually gonna pa oops, I am actually gonna ponder because um they haven't showed us discard and they didn't uh bowmasters in face of, of that. Oh, these are all great cards. I'm gonna I'm gonna draw the brainstorm and then draw the carpet and then the bowmasters, I think. I mean, I'm playing too scared of, of discard. I think they're only like if this is the Pokemoki uh Bosch and roll list, I think they're only playing like one uh, Thoughtseize. Just please don't wasteland me right now. Yeah, please and thank you. Okay. So my guess is they're sitting on Force of Will. Um, and do you Force of Will a carpet here? Probably, right? Maybe I start off with a brainstorm. Uh, that's a force of will of my own. Let's put away a plow. And to fairy. Maybe to fairy is what I'm. Actually, I'm going to put away a uh, uh, veil of summer because I am going to be tapping my one green source right now. They force. I'm going to force back before they draw their card. That fluster storm here? No, they, oh yeah, they 
Oh, Veil of Summer. Ouch. Okay, so that's uh, that's pretty gnarly. That's pretty bad for us. Uh, card disadvantage all around. But um, yeah, so be it. And again, like I think the card I'm most afraid of right now now is actually Wasteland. Oh, oh, you break my heart. Do you take the green? Oh, you take the the black. Interesting. And now we're brainstorm locked. Lovely. So I'll be drawing the one ring now, I think. And we need to draw clear of this brainstorm lock and start drawing some mana sources. Yeah, that was very, very correct of them to counter the, the carpet. Carpet flowers just completely sort of unlocks his hand. It makes everything possible. Yeah. Hmm. I think I actually uh, take the value here and try to like get out from under my, my ooh carpet. I thought there was um I thought there was one ring coming my way. I must have shuffled. Okay. If they have the second force of will, then I probably just lose or a force of negation or a spell pierce but but if if this uh, carpet can resolve then we're talking a whole different ball game and now i kind of wish i had saved my veil i guess but then i wouldn't have drawn these cards obviously um all right i'm gonna plow the the orc i'd rather them uh, spend a force of will on that. Okay, orc. Dead. Yes, okay. Alright, so a few choices here. We either just pass and do nothing, which I'm leaning towards, because I'm worried about their sec a second bowmaster. Uh, or we play our orc, our own bowmaster now, ping their, uh, their army. But I actually don't think that's what I want to do. I'd rather sort of untap and have all my options open. Okay, looks like they didn't have it. Ooh, okay. Well, I have a lot of good cards here. What do you take? Okay, they take the ring. Interesting. Alright, I would ideally love to draw land here because I would love to have access to two white mana next turn and black. So, like, either, I guess, a black or a white. Depends on what I'm, what I'm uh, going to trigger the carpet for. So them taking the ring kind of makes me think they, they're not sitting on, like, Murktide because of my plow. What's this? Ooh, okay. What's... Uh, they're... Ah, okay, okay. They're going to thought seize me again. Okay, I'm starting to met, make some headway here. How are they drawing a card? Just, uh... Oh, a dress down. Okay. Sure. Draw the thought seize. I'm just going to yield until end of turn here. Okay, Teferi is gone. Can I draw uh, the One Ring? That would be uh, lovely. That's nice. That's a dress down that's gone If in case I, I end up going the Doomsday route. Brainstorm. So I think I'm going to cast this in response to the trigger. There is a Doomsday. So hang on. One, two... Three, four, five. They have five blue map, five islands. <laughs> Hell yes. Okay, I'm just gonna. I mean, if their last two cards is, are Force of Will, then that's gonna get me regardless, I think. Um, it's a little bit annoying because if they, if Bowmasters is one of their cards, then I don't get to Bowmaster uh, anything myself this turn. I think I need to trigger um, trigger carpet for blue, actually. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Blue. Oh my god, that's so much mana. Or so, yeah, so many cards. Yes, please. Um, I think I just pass. I don't think I'm going to get Thoughts East again, but, you know, could be wrong. And now I'm ready to, like, Bowmaster anything that draws a card. Oh, you're kidding me. 
Okay, well, I mean, I'm gonna bowmaster right now. Shoot the the army, and they're doing something here, paying costs. Is a bowmaster of their own? Murder is cut. So they're gonna draw a card that's gonna grow my army. Um, I'll shoot them, and I'll have a two-two. Okay. I still feel somewhat okay here. Like, they're, yeah, they just drew a card. That's unfortunate. They're going to take my best card here. But, again, like, everything in my hand is kind of good here. And if they if they take Doomsday, then I still have Plow to enter their next thing and a Ponder to, like, like dig me out. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like this. Of course, like, every time they, like, they have a lot of very relevant spells here. And they're paying costs for something right now, so I'm wondering what that is. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, that's that's good. That's good for them. Okay, they're down to one card in hand. Okay, I think I will not trigger this right now. I would rather see what this ponder shows me. Um, yeah, that's a shuffle, I think. And I draw this member. Okay. So I'm I'm worried about them, like, starting to, to just draw cards every turn with up the Beanstalk. I guess, like, right now, I mean, they could uh, cast a Murktide. Uh, they would need to tap a lot of mana for it. Because that was two Thought Seizes. One, two, three, four, five. Still just the five islands. They choose to shuffle. Love that. Uh oh. Is this Murktide? Oh, it's Lorian revealed. Fuck me. Okay, that was insane. Well, I guess we've both drawn we've both drawn three with Lorian revealed. Um now I don't know that I can win. Now it's Murktide time. Oh. They failed to find. Oh, I just draw land. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, there we go. Um, I really don't want to give them days here with the Mystic Sanctuary, so I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna plow, plow the Murktide. Okay, I am gonna risk the days here, which they had. Okay, um, well, you get to draw more cards. Back up to seven. How many forces are gone? One force of will. Yeah, this is not looking uh, great. Well, I mean, we drew a plow, and they brainstorm. Wish I had a bowmasters, huh? Okay, they force. I plow again before they draw. Merktite's gone. Draw. All that good stuff. Wait. What just happened? It felt like it was on... Oh, never mind. That was on my turn. I triggered the carpet. I just, I just forgot. <laughs> uh, getting confused here. I thought for a second that um somehow I skipped over my own turn. So what I they destroy my carpet blah 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 yeah I'm 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 ready to concede here. Um, so good thing they didn't see the shouldered. Bad thing they saw bowmasters. Good thing they saw doomsday, so they still have to respect that. Um, I think I'm okay not having very many dazes here because of you know where the game is probably gonna go. Um. Hmm. Having set that, like, maybe days on the play is better than, I don't know, like, one of the dismembers. Go down to five removal spells plus two bowmasters. I think that's okay. All right. Yep, this feels like a fine, fine hand. I 
I'm going to ponder off a of basic island again. Like, I really need to... Res I think this, this game can quite quickly end up um, revolving around the one ring versus of the beanstalk. Like, if I can get my draw engine on uh, first, then it's really, really good. Unfortunately, like, mine costs four mana and theirs cost two. Uh, but mine is more immediately powerful, so yeah, I don't know. Um, I think I'm okay drawing one of these lands and the Dark Ritual. Um, and then shuffling. I also kind of have to be mindful of the clock here. But yeah, I get that Dark Ritual shuffle, and then if I draw Shouldred or... Or... Um, uh, the One Ring, that would be great. They choose not to shuffle. Yeah, it's it's um it's interesting. They had like multiple copies of Murderer's Cut post board. Maybe they just they were wise to me boarding in like creatures. Maybe like shoulder is something that's really big on their radar. Okay, Beanstalk. I'm gonna force that so fast. That's unfortunate, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. I'm gonna get uh probably a tundra here. I don't know, like something about like wasteland underground sea and then um and then like surgical. I'm gonna cast the Thassa here. Cause I don't want it rotting in my hand. I but this the way it does something. Um hmm. This is interesting. Um, so I think I am gonna actually put Doomsday on top here. This is a little bit of a of of a risky play because if they let it resolve, then we're in a situation where we must get a Teferi to resolve before anything else happens and to to bounce the Thassa. Okay. Well, they had a second Beanstalk. If they have Force of Will. We've probably lost. That's at least how it feels. <laughs> um, okay, let's um, let's try. I think they know our. No, wait. Never mind. They haven't seen our hand. All right. Do you have the force? You did not. Okay. So to fairy. Um, maybe we need two Teferi, because Teferi absolutely must, must resolve. Also, like, if they have Murderous Cut here, and they cut our Oracle, then we need to resolve a Doomsday again. So this is all kinds of, all kinds of not very good. <laughs> um, I mean, so I, I do actually think I need to... But then now we need to put a dark ritual. Holy smokes. How terrible would that be? Um, then maybe the carpet, if for some reason we end up in a situation. Wait, no, this doesn't work. <laughs> we, need, we need Thassa. Oh, wait, hang on. Thassa's in play. That's, that's, that's the thing. Okay, let's say for... for shits and giggles here that I I draw to fairy and to fairy just resolves because you know life is wonderful and they don't wasteland me then like to fairy bounce Thassa draw carpet that that wins on the spot and then like if that's not what happens then we can put a second to fairy underneath the carpet I think that's okay I think that's what's what we're gonna try and then, you know, if this doesn't work, we'll move on with our lives. And, uh, and yeah. Uh, yeah, let's go like this. Fear the Oracle Beats. So in what world do they not, like, wasteland us here? What What's the scenario where it's better for them to keep open a wasteland? I don't know. Like Sauron's Ransom, maybe, if they want to cast that. Brainstorm, okay. Okay, they found a fetch. Now maybe if they want a Bowmasters? Yeah, okay. So, so the thing about Bowmasters 
is and Teferi is they have to cast Bowmasters now if they want it to, to work. I think if they had Force of Will, they would have just used it right now, but I, I could obviously be wrong. Maybe they have Murderer's Cut, and that's what they're considering here. <sighs> yeah, if... Unless this Teferi just resolves, no questions asked, I, I'm very concerned about many things. Like, for instance, let's say they Wasteland us in response to Teferi, and then Teferi resolves. Do I then bounce Thassa? Because that way, like, if they then discard her, if they thought she's his next turn, then she's in the graveyard, so that's bad. And, um... They don't wasteland us, but they if they cast Bowmasters right now. Um, if they cast the Bowmasters right now, then it's in play. And then Teferi resolves, and then we have to decide... Oh, they daze, okay. I mean, I'm just going to pay for that. If they have second daze, they have second daze. Then we try again next turn, or the turn after next turn. Then we lose the double wasteland on like our white sources, but hey, we can't beat everything. This is Bowmasters. I think we just have to take our medicine. Yeah, Bowmasters is in. I get pinged to seven. Teferi is in. I think maybe I just plus here actually, because <laughs> funnily enough, Thassa is a very good um is a very good blocker of one ones. So let's try this. We'll see what happens next turn. I can like Depending on what they waste here, I can plow. If they have two wastelands, I can't plow. But if they have two wastelands, then it's probably fine. Like, I think... Yeah, if they find Murderer's Cut exactly, then it's quite... Uh, it's quite rough. Because then... I suppose I could still then untap, plow, Bowmasters, bounce the token. Like replay it to fairy or something, and we'll we'll sort of still have the do backup doomsday plan. Thoughtsies, okay. I think this means I win. They need to like attack with both creatures here to take a loyalty off to fairy, and that means that bowmasters won't be online next turn. Sure, yeah. All right, cool. I mean, unless they surgically, surgically extract me here and shuffle my deck, I think we're good. Um, I guess in either case, that wouldn't have mattered, because it doesn't matter right now. Um, okay, so we bounce Thassa, draw a card, Teferi gets pinged down to one. And then we're still... And then um, we don't need to play anything out here, but may as well... Uh, Teferi already gives us Cavern of Souls sort of effect here. Sweet deal! That's super. I'm super stoked about winning this match. I have to say, this is like one of the the tough matchups. Um, all right, cool. On to round number two. All right, on the draw for round number two with a an acceptable hand. Let's uh, let's go. Hope we don't get, like, turn one comboed. Misty Reinforced Pass. Okay. I'd love to draw another land here. Oh, Force of Will is not, not the worst. I think I'm going to get uh, Basic Island and cast Ponder. Because um, in case Ponder doesn't find me a land, I don't. I, I want to be able to, to cycle uh, Lauren Revealed. Ooh, these are all very good cards. Um, so scratch that whole lore and reveal business. Let's uh, let's go. This is a turn two uh, protected kill. Well, I mean protected in the sense that we need them to like fight over Doomsday, and if not, it's just Doomsday with uh, a past turn pile. Okay, is this the same as before? The the Pokemoki Bosch and Roll uh, list. Oh, basic Forest. No, I guess it's not. I don't believe that's a card those decks play. In either case, I think I'm not gonna... 
Oh, ice. Interesting. So it's, ah, it's rhinos. Right on, my rhinoceros inclined friend. Okay, um, this is a sort of 8 force deck. It's also a deck that just flat out, I think, loses to to Fairy Time Raveler. Tra <laughs> Time Raveler? That's what I'm trying to say here. So I am going to. I'm going to force of. Uh, sorry, uh, I'm going to Doomsday here. They would need double force. If they have that, their hand is two cards, which could then be like, you know, Mana Source plus, Cycle, plus uh, Cascader. But um, but I'm gonna go for it here. I'm gonna force pitch the brainstorm, and then I'm gonna try and like if this doesn't work, I'm gonna try and beat them with the fairy. Okay, force pitch brazen B. Force back pitch brainstorm. Are we happy? We happy. Okay. Um. They could ice my land again, which would be annoying. Uh, like, if they untap and then make rhinos, then, like, me getting to fairy isn't gonna... isn't gonna help me. Um, they clearly don't have another Force of Will, so I think... I might just put some Cyclers in here and the Oracle. Yeah, I think, like... We don't want to lose to removal, so what we could do is put like a a tundra in the pile that that we can then cycle to to get with Lauren revealed. Yeah, let's try this. This is all in on then on them not having or drawing another force of will though, which I am a little bit concerned about. But this plays around Force of Negation, and it plays around, like, Brazen Borrower. Oh, they have the Wasteland. Okay, that's, um, yeah, I guess I should have seen that coming, because uh, that deck, this deck plays, well, I have started playing Wasteland, I believe. Okay, so what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Cycle Street Wraith, end of turn. Then I'm going to cycle Lauren Revealed, get the Tundra, and then I'm going to hope that the, the last two cards will be Edge of Autumn and Thassa, and if it's Edge of Autumn on top, um, then I get to put Thassa into play on an empty board. But it looks like they're, they're going to make Rhinos here, so I don't have to worry about removal. Would be my guess. Oh, Minsk and Boo. Or, okay, I need to take. Uh, I'll take two damage here. But that's that's okay. And they have one card, so they don't won't have force of will. So I'll take four. And I'll be at eight. Then I'll or four. Then I'll cycle the street wraith. I'll be at two. Uh, let's cycle this. Uh, let's island cycle. It doesn't matter what we draw now. But we do draw the correct... Um, I guess it wouldn't have mattered anyways because we spend an extra turn and we ha we already had a cycler in hand. Oh no! <laughs> I, th I didn't see... Didn't see that coming! Oh, suck me! Okay, yeah, of course. Of course, that's a card they play. Mystical Dispute. Wow, what a rough. What a beating. What a beating. All right, now my confidence is shot. This is not a pleasant matchup. Um, having Teferi is good. Uh, Shouldred and Bowmasters, I think. Shouldred is really good. Bowmasters, probably not so much. They aren't like a Brainstorm deck. Oh, oh my god, that was brutal. Sorry for my squeal. Hope... Uh, Hope that didn't wreck your eardrums. Um, hmm. Do I want something like a pernicious deed? So they they play that betrayal card, I think post board. Um, 
I don't know. Also, like, um, Bowmasters is not terrible versus Vince Can Boo. But, I don't know, I think we need to have them not resolve Minsk and Boo, basically. So I think this will be, for me, like, if I can resolve it to Fairy to shut off all their Cascaders, and then all I have to worry about is Minsk and Boo, that would kind of be nice. Um, maybe a Pernicious Deed clearing some Rhinos isn't the worst. Um, so let's cut, uh, cut LED and consider. Oh, mystical dispute. That that wrecked my day. Um, I guess I'll cut a petal as well, and probably a daze. Like daze is so medium versus uh, versus spirit guide decks. Um, at least some amount of the time. And yeah, okay. Yeah, this is this is good. Ish. They mulligan to six. Like, if I die tomorrow, I, I want my tombstone to say, like, lost to Mystical Dispute. I don't know, I just, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to get over this. <laughs> um, I only have one card in hand, can't be forced to foil the world, good. Nothing they play can cost one mana. Playing into Wasteland doing it like this, um, but I think that's okay. And I think I will brainstorm now. And potentially, uh, hmm. it's a lot of good things here. Chief among them probably Doomsday, and Dark Ritual. So I am a little bit concerned about them, like making rhinos at end of turn. So let's put back one veil. And let's draw the other veil, I guess. I don't think I'm going to be sh uh, cycling here. So do I just doomsday here? I think I do. Don't want to show them the trop for the veil here. I, yeah, would kind of hope they, they, they'd they force here. If they don't force, then it's quite scary. And they don't force. Yep. Okay, so Thassa's Oracle, Cavern of Souls, Tropical Island to fetch with the with the polluted Delta, Tundra to to get with Lorien revealed. Um, what else? Maybe an Edge of Autumn. In case they're surgical, it's nice to have a, a draw effect. Yeah, let's try this and possibly get, like, inevitably betrayed or whatever the, the name is. But that can at least be Veil of Summered. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's try this. Goodness is we're not like instantly dead to the rhinos. If they do make rhinos here at end of turn, um, we'll we'll be at one after we fetch. Um, so we probably will need to like fetch an island cycle, and then hope to. No, I guess I don't know. Maybe maybe we. Okay, ne never mind. Doesn't matter because that's not what's happening. <clears throat> But yeah, I don't know if I'm if I'm then supposed to wait until my turn and draw the Edge of Autumn to have that and not like have that be the bottom card or whatever. Not a wasteland. Tell you what, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna get the the tundra here. I mean, I'm going to fetch the trop, and then I'm going to island cycle for the, the tundra. Or vice versa, that wouldn't have mattered. And then I'm going to try to ferry. That means I... If Teferi doesn't resolve here, and then they have um, the betrayal card, then I just lose, because my, I won't have veil up. 
So this is a must force of will uh, or mystical dispute, I guess. Yeah, fuck off, mystical dispute. <sighs> All right, well, let's see. I guess, like, I don't even know that they have the betrayal card in. Um, and they would then also need to have it in hand to ensure that a cascader hits, uh, like, that it, it actually, that's what they get to cast. But, yeah, I'm expecting some action here. Yeah, alright, let's see. Do they hit the betrayal? They did. Fuck me. Okay. Um, so I'm dead. All right, GG's. Right, on the play for round number three. Uh, yeah, let's keep this. I think I like cycling the, uh, the street wreath first. Or maybe not. Is this a cycle street wreath first or ponder first? No, I think I cycled the street wreath. All right, here we go. Dark ritual. Yeah, that's nice. Am I going to find a doomsday here? Bummer. Let's shuffle. Get the second dark ritual anyways. We have ancient tomb. So this is Boros initiative. It's, oh, it's, uh, it's that deck. I think I just daze here. I don't think they play spirit guides. I could you're wrong and get punished though. Okay. Kind of regret maybe not forcing the chrome marks, but that's such a hard call. I mean, we'll see if they just have a mountain next turn, then it's all good. Okay, Lauren revealed. That can cycle three cards for me next turn if I should feel so inclined. Another name sticker goblin. Um, I think I'll force. I mean, we're running into the territory where they just they they have the mana they need to cast uh whatever goblins is in their hand. But um, this will sort of ramp it out, and I think I think the force is not really doing a whole lot. Uh, so now I can like three for one myself and force a th a like a third threat. But we shall see if that is something I'm interested in doing. Oh, I guess force is off the table. All right, well, I'm happy I forced the name Sarah Goblin before. This is the... Oh, it's Rabble Master. Okay. I mean, that'll turn on the heat, but that's at least not something that just wrecks me instantly. Beast Mountain is 16. If I were to draw Doomsday right now, the next turn it sna it smacks for 4. So I would be at 4. Teferi. Teferi, I guess, kind of sucks here. I'm going to hold on to Teferi because with, with um, two Dark Rituals, I can like use him to draw a card like on the turn I cast Doomsday. If um if I were to draw Doomsday next turn or the turn after and I'm not not I'm not dead. So I'm kinda of worried about the Bombardier card right now because uh well that's just a lot of damage, but I guess it would have had to have been played pre combat. Alright, they have a ringleader. And which gives them a matron. Alright. So I need to draw. Like, Doomsday or the One Ring here is, is what I want. Alright, come on one time. That's a consider. I guess I'll go looking for the One Ring, which is what I need now. So, I mean, I can Teferi at the cost of a Lotus Petal to bounce the... 
the Goblin Rabble Master and draw a card. I think that's o like an okay uh, thing to do. And I think like the alternative is to concede. So. But this is obviously a very sort of ineffective way of like advancing and I draw a Veil Summer which is dead in this matchup. Yikes. So now I think my only chance is to like top deck a the one ring and then find like Doomsday in the in the like one of the top two cards underneath the one ring. Or some sequence involving cantrips that sort of end there as well. Like drawing Doomsday right now is not gonna be good enough. Oh and now I get like six, seven, eight uh, nine, ten. Yeah, okay, I'm dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got me. Uh, okay. I think we want the plows. Not sure about, uh, my own creatures here. Like, Bowmasters lines up somewhat poorly against all their X2s. But they do play some number of X1s as well, of course. Shouldred can, like, gum up the ground and, like, sustain my life total, at least somewhat. But I'm not sure it's really sustainable as such. So let's see here how much... Well, we instantly want to board out the, the three Veil of Summers. They could have Pyroblast, but I, that's not... I don't, I don't think that's a reason to keep it in Veil. I also think Teferi is really, really medium to, to low... So, where does that leave us? Um, I still think the One Ring is great. I think probably I, I'm i okay having a couple of copies of Shouldred. Um, so, what's the last cut? Probably a Daze. I suppose there's a world where we where we bring in the dismembers, but, like, they are just vomiting out creatures. I don't think, like, taking four damage to kill one creature when they are, like, likely to be playing, like, two two each turn, uh, sort of, is, uh, is, is good enough. Okay. I'll, I'll keep this. So I'll, like, probably plow on their turn and then untap a Night's Whisper. See where we, where we go from there. And then, like, any any top-decked sort of um, impact card is, is great. Like, um, like, like Doomsday War, or um, our friend, uh, the One Ring. This could be a Mags of the Moon deck, by the way. It, actually, it probably is. But I would expect only, like, one or two copies. Okay, Prospector, I don't mind plowing because it can sort of um, spiral out of control. I think I'm going to get Scrubland here. Ponder. So do I go for the two for one or do I... I, tr I think I try and hit a Doomsday or a the One Ring here. I don't. Shuffle... Okay. Well, that was unfortunate, but let's see if uh, if this daze can be worth anything on our opponent's turn. Charles of the Void. I think that is worth dazing here. Force of Will. Okay. Let's Knight's Whisper. Whisper into the night. Wasn't super exciting. I, I really need to draw one of my now uh, nine bombs, like the two Shouldreds, the two the One Ring, the Doomsdays, anything, please. No, I could also just draw lands. Well, I mean, next turn, well, I suppose even this turn I could have, but next turn we can, like, sacrifice a Lotus Petal to draw three with Lorien. That's still sort of somewhat some something I'd be interested in. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to force the pros the, the Prospector. Come on, something. 
I think I am going to draw three here. The issue is I'm sort of then uh, that then I'm sort of uh, my my turn kind of ends. But um, I'm not really sure what else I'm going to be doing here. I'm really whiffing here. It's very frustrating. 20 cards in, almost 19 cards in, and have not seen anything here. And now they cavern out some shit. I think if this is Vale, oh sorry, Chalice, I'm I'm okay with it. But I, oh it's not. It's Namesaker Goblin. I'm I'm gonna force of will that so fast. Didn't come through the cavern, so they want it to like get through their Muxus or something. Oh. Not seen this in a hot minute. If a creature spell was countered, okay, look at the top seven, put a creature among them onto the battlefield. Yikes, that's really good. Let's see what they hit. Okay, they're looking. They don't even have to reveal them. <clears throat> Let's hope it's low impact. <laughs> oh, no, it's just the best card they could have. All right, Muxus. Let's see what, what Muxus hits. Oh, only a Skirk Prospector. That's so sick. They do have Spirit Guides. Yikes. Okay, good to know. Well, we're so our hand is still doing nothing, but like if I could draw any business spell here, I would be so happy. Uh, I guess that kind of counts. Um, I almost feel like I, I probably need to use this Dark Ritual to cast this here. So Moxus is going to get be a 5-5 five, five attacking, so 6. I guess that's not even that much. I think maybe I don't sacrifice this Dark Rit. I mean, we wouldn't have been able to cast uh, the One Ring even if we had spent the Dark Rit. So, okay. How much trouble are we in? Name Sticker Goblin, okay. Five mana, yikes. Six mana, another Muxus. I probably just lose then. All right, let's see. So how much damage am I taking? Four plus five is nine. S 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, yeah, yeah, okay. Good times were had by all, but we lost. So let's go on to round number four. On the draw for round number four, with a an acceptable hand here, versus Aaron Relentless, which is uh, uh, Jorg, who is uh, a very accomplished player, took down a painting from Eternal Weekend a couple of years ago, um, and uh, a nice fella. So, happy to play against Yorg. Um, this hand, I'm not sure, I, I would imagine Yorg is playing, like, Cradle Control, but I could be anything. Urza Saga, okay, that's not Cradle Control. Okay. Um, let's... I'm not going to fetch one race Wasteland here. It could be, like, Lands... In which case, like, I would be happy to have my basic, my basic island. Oh, this is almost good, but unfortunately, it's not. Okay, I'm happy enough with the second land. Yeah, I think I'm going to... I'm actually going to cast this Edge of Autumn here and, like, uh, get some mana ramp going. In case, like, if we draw the one ring that'd be kind of nice still no idea what flavor of Ursa saga this uh this deck is I'm guessing it's not it's not cephalobrachus we can oh it's painter right okay painter 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 and there is a welder right on so I take four, and, oh god, 
I feel completely crestfallen here. Like, I don't feel like the deck is cooperating. <sighs> Why would I even do this? Like, what? Like, I'm going to cycle to fairy. I guess I can kill one of the, the tokens here. Um, to sort of ease the pressure a little bit. Oh, why don't I just withdraw more dazes? Come on, deck. Yeah, considering, like, uh, maybe I was supposed to force the full that Goblin Weller. I'm not sure what else. Like, I'm going to be forcing, and, like, Goblin Weller means, like, any artifact. It's not something I can effectively force of will. I can force of will this, though. So I'm going to do that. Because this puts Painter in the graveyard. Even if, like, if I get out of the One Ring into play now, he can Goblin Welder it out, because I have Lotus Petal in the graveyard, which is, like, a really sweet line, but also really annoying. Okay, well, I mean, Construct is a 2-2 two -two now. So the pressure is somewhat eased. Here comes some damage. Ponder. Can I ponder, or is it going to get red blasted? Well, there is a the one ring. I, I don't think I can shuffle that away, but like it is really awkward that the goblin willer can, like, you like sap it in and out. Mm, I think I'm just going to draw here. If he grindstones me, I'm going to brainstorm in response. Fable, huh? I think I'm forcing that fable. Mm. Okay, let's get rid of the daze. Get rid of the pedal. And let's shuffle and ponder. I think I actually get scrubland here to have access to both white and be closer to casting doomsday. I mean, to fairy. <sighs> Teferi's not even that bad of a pickup here. Ugh. It is like we can at least bounce. We can bounce the construct, and then Teferi then dies to Goblin Welder. But at that point, like we have just well almost like uh, okay, they mill themselves. Interesting. They hope to get. I I guess that's not interesting. That's actually just very logical because if they if they hit like painter or servant, they can then win. But fortunately, they whiffed. Yeah. Maybe exile my lotus petal over here. We do get like a one pop. Uh, protection from from uh, their kill with the Veil of Summer. Um, at least if they name blue with uh, with Painter Servant. Okay, so that's second grindstone. Okay, one card in hand. Uh, but now their construct is a four four, so now I do need to like kill it. Um. And like any any Ursa's saga is like really scary. And now also my the one ring is like the life loss is gonna be super super duper like terrible for me. Yeah, I I think I'm like lo running out of of ways to win this game. Um, the grindstone means that even if I get Doomsday on the stack, it's uh, it's somewhat problematic <clears throat> I'm also not sure if, if uh, they're playing lightning bolts these days so I could be effectively dead here they're drawing a card yeah that makes sense oh uh, 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 okay well Good times were had by all. I think I am going to... Yeah, I'm going to bounce... 
the construct here. Yeah, I don't, I don't even get to draw a card because he he does that. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna cast a brain sword. All right, let's um, let's see how dead we are. Yeah, and he's like drawing two cards every turn because of the Soul Guide Lantern loop with the welder here. It's it's not looking good. Painter also probably plays like fourth Aerolingas, so that could also come out at any point and just fireball us to death. Okay, so Fury kills Teferi. I'm just gonna concede here. I'm I'm honestly a bit over this. Um No need to waste time. All right, so Deed is a great card here. I think um, Shoulder is pretty decent. I think Bowmasters is also interesting. Um, and I think Dismember, because they are a deck that could bring in like uh, Magus of the Moon as well. <clears throat> so let's cut. I think Teferi is somewhat mediocre here. Um, at least I'll, I'm going to cut one, and I'm going to cut, I think I'm going to cut some number of Doomsdays, kind of approach it a little bit like the, uh, the Delver, actually, <laughs> just because, like, Doomsday is such a tough proposition, uh, versus, uh, what they have going on, um, with the grindstones. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Yeah, let's try this. Um, hope to just not get Urza's Saga out of the game. That's uh, probably my biggest concern. For this sort of matchup, I'd really hope, like, I would have loved to have played, like, more than one, um, more than one uh, Pernicious Deed, but, yeah, you know. Okay, I'm going to brainstorm here and hope to hit a land, um, because I kind of want to play more than one spell this turn. Oh, we, we get there. Um, get rid of the Edge of Autumn. Get rid of the second Ponder, I think. And then we fetch Tundra, cast Ponder. Uh, Bowmasters, that is sweet. Okay. Pithing Needle, okay. Probably named to Fairy or the One Ring, but if I'm lucky, they name like uh, a Cycler. To Fairy, okay. That's fair. So I'll probably uh, brainstorm here and hide or like get the, the to Fairy out of my hand. Um, yeah, go like this, and then I think I, um, honestly, I just Bowmasters right now. Um, it's a little bit awkward, we, we can't get to, we don't have uh, Bayou, so we can't get to black and green right now. I think, uh, Underground Sea is just fine. All right, yeah, I'm gonna do this now, kill the welder before it untaps and can somehow do something that I am not gonna be happy with. It's an interesting question, right? If they mags of the moon right now, do I let it resolve or do I uh, force of will it? Because so I have my basic island, I'm looking at playing like a, a spell through here. I think this resolves. Do we choose blue? We do choose blue. Okay. Um, let's uh, let's cast a ring, huh? And let's draw a card. 
mail of summer. That will be nice one day. Do need to find removal for this painter. I guess I could have forced it, but they missed their land drop last turn, huh? Didn't even notice. Love this guru land art. Missing land drop again. Kind of assuming they're sitting on a bunch of uh, red blasts. Let's uh, let's draw here. And um, that was uh, that was good. I'm gonna island cycle uh, to get a drop. And then next turn, I can um, I can shoulder it with force backup and veil backup. Yeah, I'm not gonna do anything here. Three mana. Yep, you can certainly fable. Alright, I take some damage. And then I cast Shouldered the Apocalypse. And then I, I think I'd draw three cards here because I wouldn't hate like hitting another land and then we can start discarding whatever. <clears throat> yeah. I think I... Do I maybe discard the One Ring? It's kind of nice to have a backup though, but with Shouldered... Like we're getting to a point now, <clears throat> like next turn I can use the One Ring and then on the subsequent turn, if I... If I use it, then I can no longer use it post Doomsday because then it will be drawing six cards. But <coughs> excuse me. I think um, all right. So let's discard the uh, Night's Whisper and the Brainstorm. I think we'll hold on to that. The One Ring. So if they try to Pyroblast the Shouldered here, I'll I'll Veil, and then they could Pyroblast again. I can fetch Drop Veil again. If they Pyroblast again, I can Force. So. Okay, and now they are, it's going to be very painful if they choose to draw two cards. Yeah, they didn't. Um. Alright, going to combat, attacking. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to block here, and then if they have Fury... I'm going to force and fight over it and all that good stuff. I guess you could say that it was it's just a little bit unnecessary. Uh because like the two damage, but I also like them not getting like a uh, lotus petal every turn. Magus of the moon. I mean uh I think I do force of will this although maybe I'm not even supposed to like what what am I worried about from this position I'm I'm pretty clearly ahead but also it's just nice to have you know your lands functioning okay I'm gonna uh, fail this. And they concede. Okay. Cool, cool. <clears throat> so now Pithing Needle will, if it comes down next turn, will almost certainly name uh, the One Ring, right? But uh, I think I'm pretty pretty happy with, with what I have here. Yeah. And crucially, this game which is that we just had, didn't involve um, what's his face uh, Ursa Saga. Okay, I'm keeping this. Um, we can like underground sea cycle or reveal, get a land, and then bowmaster a, a goblin water, for instance. Okay, is this Magus maybe? Yeah, sure. Magus of the moon. 
Guess what I have in my hand? A fucking dismember. Oh, and I just even drew my island. That's so nice. Um, is there any reason to wait? So, if I wait, they have a mountain. If I don't wait, they have two mana, but no, no man, no mountain. Uh, I think I'm gonna wait. They could be playing like more of these. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know what's this four mana. It's Chalice for two or something. No, what is this? What do they have? That oh, this guy. Okay. So this is just a two-two double striker. That if it enters from the graveyard, it does stuff. But that's not what's happening right now. Okay. Dark Ritual? Okay, no, that's fine. <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry about that. Um, okay. think I pass here. And as much as I would love to... As much as I would love to Orcish Bowmasters, I also really kind of want to develop my mana and maybe get a Teferi going. Okay, so I take four. That's not nothing. Yeah, more stuff. Not another one, please. Oh, Trinisphere. I think I have to force a full Trinisphere, or do I? No, no, Trinisphere is fine. Uh, because I, I, I want both of these blue card cards. If Shouldered or the One Ring had been, been a blue card, I would have gone for, like, forcing Trinisphere, but... All right, we got the Tundra. We're going to play Teferi and bounce the Dragon Engine. Right? But then it just comes back down. But I still think that's worth it, because hopefully there's a land in the top two cards, and we can get to, like, Shouldered plus the One Ring, all that good stuff. Or a source of Plowshares. That's also acceptable. Hopefully they, they tap out now to cast that thing, and then we can... And we tap out to, to plow it. Okay, so they found the red mana. That's unfortunate. This is Magus. Okay. It's not. It's just the dragon engine. Not catching a break on these lands. Um... So I'm going to, I wonder, I'm going to see if they go for my life total here, or if they go for Teferi, and also give them a chance to put something on the stack that I that I have to force of will. Okay, now they have four mana. What's this? Fourth Aerolingus, probably. The Aerolingus have been fourthed. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to force that. So now they have to choose between killing Teferi and killing, uh, or just like going face. Looks like they are attacking me. Yeah. All right. Cool, cool. Come on with a land, god damn it. Um, all right. I'll pass and I'll plow the thing. If they have another fourth Aerolingus here, then um, it's uh, it's not going to be pretty. But unfortunately, they don't. I can just pass here. What's this? They're tapping weirdly. Okay, power blasting to fairy. That's fair. Okay, can I now have a land, please? <laughs> nope. All right. Okay, well, I'm going to end of turn uh, Bowmasters here. They're sitting on two cards, probably a Red Blast among them, and then I don't know what the, the other one is. Could be a land or whatever. But they've Ancient Tomb themselves pretty pretty hard here, so there are ten. Land? Yes, thank you. Okay. I feel like... Um, I feel like probably Shoulder is more important. 
um, because my life total is really low. Maybe I'm supposed to attack first in case they have some combat shenanigans that they then instead use on Shildred. But now the beats are real. Like, this happens, they're at 8, they're at 6 now. Again, not a Nurse's Saga in sight. They have to, like, remove one of these creatures or present a blogger now, or they're just dead on board. All right, they concede. Awesome. 2-2. Two, two. Really happy to beat the, what I consider a pretty hard matchup. Um, and, yeah, let's see if we can uh, get a positive record in the final round. Right, on the play for final round... We can, yeah, let's let's try this. I think I'm not going to cycle Street Wraith here. I'll just go, like, Flood is Strand. Pass, I believe. Opponent, meanwhile, is mulliganing to six. Lotus Petal, okay. So this is initiative. Uh, yeah, not going to, I can't fight that. I guess this could be, um, it could be, uh, Eight cast as well. All right. Well, let's see what they do now. That's no, not eight cast. Four mana is a seasoned dungeoneer. Fourth Aerolinga is for two. Okay. I mean, I can't do anything about that. I guess I could have cycle street wraith and hope for a hope for a, a daze, but yeah. Okay, so I'm at sixteen. If I doomsday, I'll be at eight. Actually, I'll be at six because I have to fetch twice, and then I take two more. Still think that's probably okay. Well, bale of summer is a dud. So wait, I'll be at seven. I'll be at three actually post uh, post doomsday. Let's um let's cast Doomsday here. It's actually it's actually pretty crucial because I mean <laughs> that's a, a street wraith I can then cycle. Um I do think All right, how about this? Um Okay, what what's the worst that could happen next turn? It's like that they play a uh, what's its face the the thing <laughs> um the archon of emiria uh or i guess a haste creature but i don't think they play haste creatures and i don't think they have mags in the main deck but that could also be is it like wrong on my part but we can't play around everything but if i play um if i play to fairy like let's say i draw i draw a, a lotus petal and then I cast um, Teferi off of Tundra plus two of the Seas. And then I, like, drawing with Teferi, I, I draw a, a Cycler, and then I can cycle down to Thassa. Then I'm not sure, like, if that's my plan, I'm not sure what the, the Cavern is doing here. So, yeah, let, let's try that. Cavern, Thassa, Cycler, Cycler, Lotus Biddle. Okay. So I need them to not, Mags of the Moon me, I need them to not, like if they Chalice for two, I think with the Street Wraith I can still get to the Cavern. Yeah. There's a Lotus Petal. And they have a Cavern. So what's, if they have more fourth Aerolingas, obviously I just lose. If they can somehow deal, deal, deal like, three damage to me, I, I lose instantly. Which they can. Alright, GG's. Bummer. Fourth Air Lingas. Alright, so fourth, fourth of negation. Force, not fourth. Force of negation. And dismember. MVPs here. Um, pernicious 
Steed, uh, I don't know. Shouldered, also, I don't know, but maybe. Plow, I don't, I mean, if they have Magus or they have Chalice for one, then, then Plows are just really bad. Um, I think we can easily trim the, the Veils. And I think Teferi is, is, is sort of meh. Um, but maybe not entirely meh. Yeah, let's cut some of the ultra fast stuff. And I guess Knight's Whisper as well. I'm not too big on like just grindy, trying to grind uh, with them. <coughs> I'm not sure about the pernicious deed, to be honest. Like it, it clears up uh, horse tokens, but that means they already have the initiative. It can like just clean up a board late in the game where I have a lot of mana, but that doesn't seem like something that's going to happen all that often. So maybe bringing in the the deed is 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 not where I want to be at. And Shouldred, you might think that's weird. I don't know, but like it can stabilize life totals, which is pretty important and sort of prolong the game. And is like an inevitable, an inevitable clock in and of itself, and um, yeah, it doesn't trade with the or I mean it trades, but it doesn't trade favorably. It doesn't block favorably versus their biggest dudes, but then it's a trade at at worst. Oh, I hate this matchup too. Boros initiative. They just like. Their strategy is just to play, like, f the force check you the first three turns, basically. And then, you know, you probably lose. Oh, that's a mulligan. Yeah, I'll keep. Um, so I'm going to bottom Doomsday here. And I'm going to expect that I will need to force something pitching the... Uh, the Thothless Oracle, meaning Doomsday is off the table. And then hope to win with Shouldred, I, I guess. Not going to force a Chalice. Probably am going to force a Magus of the Moon here, because I would need one of my two cycler, uh, like dismembers. Seasoned Engineer can get fucked. And hopefully like them not having like having to spend two pedals on this means that um, they might struggle on red mana. Who knows? I, of course, draw the very card I just bottomed, because why wouldn't that happen? I'm also aware that I'm being very <laughs> whiny right now. I'm, I do apologize. The Magus of the Moon. Yes. Join the party, dude. Okay, I have to fetch Basic Island, because otherwise things don't make sense. Now my cantrips can at least try and look for a dismember. I need to find, well, I'm not going to complain about the prospect of the one ring, but um, we are sort of falling behind here, and our answer to the Magus is going to cost us a significant chunk of life. How about you don't have another land drop, please, opponent? Shall's wrong, okay, sure. Well, I mean, if I can find two Lotus Petals or a Dismember, then I'm I'm just happy as a clam. But uh, those things are maybe a lot to ask. They attack, because why not? It doesn't matter. Okay. So now I draw out of the Brainstorm Lock, right? And now I get two fresh cards. Huh. I almost got excited there, but then I remembered that um, there was a Magus of the Moon in play. Okay, we need to draw a Dismember on our next turn. Chalice was zero, so now the Lotus Petals are off. Yeah, Dismember, please. Uh, that's not a Dismember. So wait, I go to 9, then I untap and take 3, I go to 6. Um, 
Yeah, let's get rid of a Doomsday. So what happens here? If I dismember, if I if I actually do draw a dismember, then I have a bunch of lands to play with. Okay, please dismember. Just draw it naturally. How about that? Oh, oh no. Um, yeah, dismember in these three cards. So I take. If I dismember, I go down to two. And then I play Shouldred. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. We need to draw the dismember first. And we didn't. All right, GG's. 2-3 finish. Ugh, not what I was hoping for. All right. Um, well, that obviously went pretty poorly. Um, happy about the wins. Uh, not just because they were wins, but I, I'm really happy about beating um, being the scam deck. I feel like uh, the, the strategy kind of worked out, and the same versus Painter. Though against the Painter deck, I think like at any point in time, if uh, they play like start playing sagas then I'm, I'm maybe in trouble but but that worked out pretty well lost to goblins lost to um the 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 boros initiative deck and what was the last deck i lost to oh yeah it was rhinos so i feel like rhinos is a pretty tough matchup uh in my experience because it's basically just an eight force of will deck that can also play like endurance and now they also play wastelands and they have their own combo that like you you can't be saving your your force of wills to protect your own combo you often will have to like burn burn one off on on their their combo they play spirit guides making days uh suspect so i I'm not surprised that I lost that matchup, although it did feel pretty close and like, oh, that running into that mystical dispute was, was tough. Um, yeah, Boris Initiative, I feel like it played out more or less uh, like I w was expecting, and in instead of having zero outs, I had two outs uh, because of the two dismembers to the Magus, but unfortunately didn't get there. Like, the ma like drawing, getting a, a dismember and clearing the Magus just instantly tips that game massively in, in my favor because of the shoulder and the one ring but yeah is what it is um probably got a bit lucky versus scam in the first round so i don't know it probably evens this out uh evens out and um yeah i don't know like i feel like um th the matchup that i'm probably the least comfortable saying something about or knowing how to improve is that goblins matchup um it's just really quite fast at dealing 20 damage to you. And they play Magus of the Moon post board and probably Mind Break Trap and stuff like that. So, and I I don't know if I would rather be Turbo versus that deck, but probably just having a little bit more reliably, like the ability to, to, to put Doomsday on the stack early with the personal tutors and stuff. But I don't know, honestly, I don't feel like it's a strange world where, like, it feels like Goblins is a poor matchup for, for combo. Uh, and I, I do kind of feel that way, or at least it, it's not a comfortable matchup. Let's put it like that. But anyways, uh, that's enough for me. I hope you had fun. Uh, I hope you like the stuff com coming out on this channel and continue to do so. I'm certainly appreciative that you are watching. I hope you have a, a happy holidays. And I'll, uh, I'll be back with uh, one more video, I think, uh, before the new year. Okay, bye-bye.